The arrival of AI, specifically LLMs like ChatGPT, has made so many things so much easier. You can now create blog posts, stories, and scripts and boost your productivity tenfold. But there's one big problem. The more people that use LLMs like ChatGPT, the more your written material starts to blend in and sound very similar to everybody else's. They take on the same voice and they start to sound very AI-ish. But what happens in a more serious scenario? like college papers, high school papers, or even the work environment. The last thing you want to do is sound like everybody else, or worse, plagiarism. But there's good news. You can still use ChatGPT and all the other LLMs to 10x your written material without plagiarizing. The tool I'm going to be sharing with you today will actually allow you to pass any AI detection tool. It's an all-in-one AI detector and it may just become your new best friend. And it's called Bypass GPT. Bypass GPT provides an awesome AI detection feature. It can quickly determine whether your text is AI generated and provide the detection reports for various AI detectors with just one simple click. So to start, here's what we're going to do first. Now I pride myself on having the indisputable best prompt databases you'll ever find. Thousands of prompts with new updates and new prompts added every single day. Never ending and with lifetime access. I have everything possible that you can imagine. Now I actually do have specific prompts that have been known to pass AI detectors. However, times are changing because these AI AI detectors continue to get smarter and smarter by the day. So what we'll first do is come in here and we're going to copy and paste a few of these prompts and then we'll enter them in one of three tools. We'll try ChatGPT, Claude, and also Gemini. Once the AI generates our content, then we'll give it the true test by pasting the AI's written content into an AI detection tool. And then if it fails, which don't be surprised if it does, then we'll take that same failed content and put that in the bypass GPT where I'll show you how you can then bypass, no pun intended, any of the most popular AI detection tools. But first, what you're looking at here is bypass GPT. And as I scroll down, you could see some of the most top key features. So it says 100% undetectable, plagiarism free rewrites, completely error free, high ranking content, authentic and creative, and then bypass spam filters. Copy and paste your text on the left hand side, then you're going to hit submit, then it will tell you what the actual score is and if it feels like this is written by AI. Bypass GPT is an anti-AI detector that truly works. And then you can see it has all of these AI detection tools that are checkmarked from GPT-0, 0, 0 GPT, Originality AI, all the way down to Content and Scale, Writer, and then Sapling. And then perhaps one of the most important parts right here, Plagiarism Free Humanization. And then so for this, what I wanna do is just start off with something very simple, okay? I'm in chat GPT in their newest version version and you could see right up here I just entered the simplest of prompts write a blog post about the emergence of AI technology and so again chat GPT gave me exactly what I was looking for here's a very simple blog post so let's first try this new piece of content that we got from chat GPT what I'm gonna do is come over here and I'm gonna paste the whole entire thing in here I'm on originality AI and here is the blog post that chat GPT just wrote for me you could see here 561 words words. Let's go ahead and now scan now. And while we're waiting on that one, I'm also going to come over here to GPT-0 and do the same exact thing. So now we have two very popular AI detection tools scanning these blog posts written by ChatGPT. So the first one right away, very bad score. Originality.ai on the right hand side gave me an AI detection score of 100% AI. That is not good at all. That is going to be a big penalty if anybody or even Google puts this into an AI detection. Now look down here at the bottom. Everything is highlighted in that reddish orange color and that is 100% which is higher than this 90% confidence this sentence was generated by AI. Now let's go over to GBT0 and this one over here is also very bad news. We can see down here at the bottom this says 37 out of 37 sentences are likely AI generated. Not good at all. Okay well now that we're in trouble with two of these AI detection tools. Now, what can we do to minimize the chance of being detected 
and plagiarism. For that, we're going to come over here to now bypass GPT. And it really is this simple. So right over here on the left hand side, this is exactly what we're going to do. I'm pasting this whole entire blog post in here again. Okay, so now that I have everything pasted in here, now I'm going to select this button right here that says humanize. Okay, here we go. It's humanizing everything. And now the moment of truth will approach right now checking if rewritten text can bypass you could see now it's thinking it's going through all of there's zero gpt it's going through all of the most popular ai detection tools if it can pass these ai detectors it's going to pass any of them and then here we have it right here now notice this on the left hand side is all AI, 584 words. My new one, humanized by bypass GPT, is 628 words. So I do like the fact that it actually made it a little bit longer. Back over here in bypass GPT, let's go ahead and scroll down. Check this out. The output content seems to be human written. Checking result. Check, 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 check. I got positive checks on every single AI detection tool. Now on the right hand side, this is the article that bypass GPT rewrote for me. What I'll do now is I'm gonna go ahead and copy this whole entire right side of the article. Okay, so now for this one, now I'm over here in Zero GPT, another very popular AI detection tool. Again, I'm gonna come over here and make sure I have this link copied back in Zero GPT. Now I'm gonna copy this whole entire piece of text right here and then do detect text. Let's do a new scan here. I'll select run scan in GPT Zero. So now I have bypass GPT's rewritten content being scanned. Now let's just wait a few seconds until these are done. Then we're going to head back to each AI detection tool to now see how good of a job bypass GPT actually did do. Okay, amazing. Back over here in GPT zero. Look at this. We went from 32 to 32 being AI generated to now look at this very important piece right here. Zero to 32 sentences are likely AI generated. It passed with flying colors and the article is very well written. And now we're back over here in zero GPT. And here it is again. This one says your text is human written 3.49% AI GPT, which is amazing. You're really not going to get much better than that. Now I'm over here in originality AI over here on the right hand side. Check this out. Plagiarism. I get a 0% plagiarism score. Amazing. Zero chance of plagiarism means I can breathe a breath of fresh air because I am safe from being labeled as a plagiarizer. Okay, well, that was fairly easy. And as expected, it did pass with flying colors. That's just with a very simple and basic prompt. But what happens now when I go to my prompts database and copy and paste a very specific prompt that has been known in the past to actually pass these AI detection tools. I am over here in this mega prompts database and I'm actually gonna expand this one right here. Let me open up the whole entire prompt and you can see exactly what it says. An article that is 100% unique, SEO optimized and human written in English, okay? Include bullet points and again, write it in a conversational style as written by a human. So let's go ahead and copy this whole entire thing. Now that's an important piece of information to keep in mind. Just because you're gonna tell ChatGPT or Claude to sound like a human doesn't always mean it's going to pass the humanizer test. Okay, so now for this one, we're going to try Claude. I'm going to come in here and then paste this prompt in. Here is the prompt I just pasted from my database. Let's go ahead and now hit send. And this time I didn't give Claude a specific topic. I just wanted it to go ahead and give me something completely unique. And here's what it says. Five simple tips to boost your productivity and get more done. Okay, we're going to go ahead and then let Claude finish up with this one. But let's go ahead and do the same exact thing now over here in Gemini. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and paste this prompt in again in Gemini. Let's let this get to work. And let's see if these any of these LLMs can pass these detection tools. So since we're in Gemini, and it's already done, it got done pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and copy this whole entire thing right here. There we are. And again, I'm back over here in GPT zero, I'll run a scan on this one, I'll do it in zero GPT as well. Let's come back over here to Claude and copy this whole entire article that Claude Claude wrote for us. Okay, now here we are back in GPT-0. Okay, now again, it's not 100%, but is still a very poor score. As I scroll down, we can look at this. It says, document classification, 91% probability AI generated. Not good. Probability breakdown, again, right over here, 8% human, 0% mixed, 91% AI. Again, not good at all. 39 out of 39 sentences are likely AI generated. 
Okay. And then again, over here on zero GPT, a little bit better, but it still says your text is most likely AI GPT generated. And this one gave us a score of 57.43% AI generated. Not good here. And then last but not least, yet again, on originality.ai, over here on the right-hand side, 100% AI. Again, not a very good look. So let's do this again. I'm back in Bypass GPT. Let's take this same exact text that we got from Gemini, okay? Copy and paste it yet again. And let's head back over to Bypass GPT, paste it in, and now say humanize on this one, okay? Now Bypass GPT is already humanizing it. And then here at the bottom, the output content seems to be human written, seamlessly passing the test of all AI detectors. For the Claude one, we're gonna go back to GPT-0. I'll do a new scan. I'll paste the one in here for Claude. And now let's run scan on this. And we'll also do it in zero GPT as well. Wow, well, zero GPT is already done with the Claude one. And again, not a good score at all. Your text is AI GPT generated. So not even Claude could pass the test. Let's go to GPT zero. And then this one over here is 77% probability AI generated, human 22%, AI 77. It seems as though Claude has done a little bit better of a job. However, a score of 77 is still horrible. But now the true test approaches. I'm back in bypass GPT. Okay, here is the one from Gemini on the left. And now here is the rewritten content from Bypass GPT. I'm back over here on GPT-0, and look at this. This says down here at the bottom, zero out of 16 sentences are likely AI generated. Perfect job. Bypass GPT, pass the test again. Okay, last but not least, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go to my content section of my database. And if it could pass the test here, okay, this is gonna be a big deal because this is a very good prompt for an article slash blog post. So with that said, I'm back over here in ChatGPT. I'm gonna simply copy this prompt in and I'm gonna make sure I actually replace my bracketed text with a specific subject that we're looking for. So I'm gonna say, write a detailed article about SEO aiming to gauge and inform audience. Okay, I'm gonna say my audience are gonna be SEO prospective customers. Scroll down and then make sure I replace anything else in the bracketed text, okay? Seems like everything is done. Let's go ahead and then select generate. Let ChatGPT get the work and you can see it's spitting it out pretty quickly and everything so far looks very good. When this is done, we'll see what scores we got and then we're gonna really put bypass GPT to the true test. Okay, so ChatGPT is done. Let's just go ahead and copy this whole entire thing all the way down towards the bottom. Okay, let's go ahead and put these through the specific test again. We'll just do GPT-0 and 0GPT. So I'll paste this into GPT-0, run the scan here and then do the same thing at 0GPT. GPT, okay, the tech test here. Now let's go back to GPT-0 and see what kind of a score that we got here. And again, not good at all. Yet again, 100% probability AI generated. Okay, not good. You can see everything is 100%. And then again, down here at the bottom, 56 out of 56 sentences are likely AI generated. But the other thing I like about this is the writing analysis. I can look at more of the details here and then look at the stats as far as readability, etc. So again, very bad score, failed yet again. Let's see if we did any better over here in zero GPT. And then again, 98.42% AI generated not good at all. Okay, let's do the same exact thing and bypass GPT and now paste this whole entire thing over here. And then again, select humanize. Okay, so if bypass GPT can pass this test, then this is a 100% amazing tool I recommend to everybody. Because as you could see, the ones I just got from chat GPT, it gave me a 100% score AI and then a 98%. So the AI detection tools definitely have done a very good job. In fact, they're doing their job. I'm just not doing mine, but no problem because that is where hopefully bypass GPT can come in. Here's the left versus the right side. The right side's the new content. I scroll down. It seems that everything was passed. So let's go ahead and copy it on the right-hand side, go back to GPT zero, and then do this process again. There is my new content, run scan here. Same thing, paste the new content here and then detect text here. Now let's look at our scores. Okay, so perfect job. In zero GPT, I only have a couple sentences highlighted that could possibly be AI 
AI generated. And so this gave me a score of 98%. Very good. And one cool thing to keep in mind, if you don't get a score that is as high as you would like, I'll come back over here and bypass GPT and I'll just rerun this again. I could select different modes, fast, creative, or enhanced. Okay. So for an example, if I want to select creative this time, let's do humanize with creative and see what form of content that we get. As I hover over each one, you could see that creative applies basic text changes for quick AI detector bypassing needs. Enhanced is the strictest. So bypass GPT gave me a brand new one over here. Let's try this one. This is going to be in creative mode. And now look at this beautiful job. Now using creative mode and bypass GPT, check this out right here. Probability breakdown, 99% human, 1% AI. You can't do better than that unless it's 100. This is amazing. Okay. 1% AI generated, which means it is highly suggested that this was written by a human. Zero out of 46 sentences are likely AI generated. So there you have it, a potentially very important VIP tool that you should consider adding into your AI toolbox. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is this something that could benefit you? But thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Turn it back.